this poem goes out to the children of God in this city, in this state, and in this country. Don't let it be said too late, speaking words of truth for repentance of your soul. Remember God made you, now it's time to pay your toll. This cry goes out to the young and the old, for all shall see judgment day, that truth must be told. I can admit at a young age, truth was not an attraction. Conditioned by emotionalism, the majority of the things I sought was based on reactions from feelings of my flesh, which had taken control. But speaking words of truth renewed my mind from variance from truth to my soul. So I had to be broken before I was made whole. I come from a city where truth is hard to find. Not another man's truth. I'm talking about truth from the beginning of time. A city in West New Jersey with an MLK Boulevard and a Stuyvesant Ave. A state street that goes east to west with many people find life on the grind. Some see it as a test where the blame game is used. So many are not feeling at their best. The old blame the young. The young blame the old. But both have a responsibility to make life better in this city, truth be told. A city where the media spreads illusions that cause confusion and then takes no responsibility in giving solutions so they can exploit minds that have been exploited and segregated so that the conditions of the exploited and segregated will continue so that it benefits the agenda of their sponsorship. For the words of the wicked are against God. They devise mischief continually. They have no hope in helping another man, just getting all the money they can. Don't let it be said too late, young and old, must remove these words of hate and not get caught up in debate, for this city has been under siege too long. Now it's time to stand strong. Hear and do ye children the instructions of truth. Teach and do ye fathers and mothers the instructions of truth not traditions which bind and bound, live in truth and let love surround this city that has lost children by murder, so mothers are crying and their emotions have not found rest. Mothers are dying by murder, so their children's love is being put to the test. Fathers are dying by murder, so families can't be at their best. Now is the time to break the cycle of death live to love and get understanding start demanding the best of oneself mind body soul and strength that will change your destiny and raise the standard for future generations so they will be able to hold out their hands and receive not from man but from God their reparations and the wicked won't be able to exploit your pain and segregate your family from the land so generations can fulfill its vast potential. But we must move fast with wisdom and discretion. Don't let it be said too late so there will be no regression to deceit and the hope of the wicked people will end in defeat in this city. A city which is the capital of the state with no official state song where the governor cuts educational funding to those who need it, but his sponsorship stays strong. The media being on that sponsorship payroll spreads traditions, not truth. Some preachers being on that sponsorship payroll spreads traditions, not truth. So they speak more about your pain rather than your power. Truth from the beginning told you power comes by prayer and fasting. This will remove from your mind all the distractions given by those who want to continue to exploit your pain. And only the sponsorship will gain more control over your exploited soul. It's only my reasonable service that I tell you that you're living in danger. And I cannot treat you like a stranger. So take heed and do not hesitate. Young and old for a better way and a brighter faith. Please, brothers and sisters, don't let it be said too late.